Day four in the fish house. Things are starting to get weird. Watch out, man! What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. As you guys can see, once again, we are in a freaking permanent fish house. It is like negative, negative 20, I think, right now, and like negative 50, counting the windshield. It is freaking freezing out, so I decided to, once again, hunker down in a nice permanent, once again. If y'all seen the last two videos, y'all know that I was in a permanent fish house, hard-sided fish house, doing some bluegill fishing. This is my PB bluegill. Unfreaking real Anyways, tonight, we are going to be doing some crappie fishing. We're fishing kind of deep today, like almost four feet so every fish we catch we're gonna have to harvest so uh, yeah we're definitely gonna be doing a little catch and cook tonight also it is tonight by the way it is almost seven o'clock we're getting kind of a late start not really uh, the bite doesn't really turn on until like seven eight o'clock that's why uh, we're starting so late today this is actually my second night in here I, I got here last night and it was just so late I didn't really feel the need to make a video I just figured I'd make one today but I did catch a couple crappies I will uh, I'll play some of the clips right here. Got him. Biggin'? Biggin'. Not bad at all. Ah! We got one. Those about the same size. Start again. Let's go. Beautiful. I just missed one. It's 11 o'clock. I got one. <laughs> Let me try to turn a light on for you guys. There we go. We're freaking hooked up, dudes. This might be the last one. I think I'm gonna get to bed. That's gonna be a perfect freaking eater. Little update, dudes. It's like two in the morning, and I just caught another one. Night. Welcome back, dudes. We're basically going to be doing kind of the same thing we did in the last uh, two videos. We're just gonna be kind of hanging out, catching some fish, cooking some fish, and just kind of vibing. Anyways, I'm going to keep this short. Let's get let's get right into fishing. I feel like I should mention really quick too, dudes. I am using live bait and right there is the same dropkick jig I caught that giant 12-inch bluegill last episode. Okay, let's get to fishing. These fish are being super finicky, dudes. Like I mentioned, it's definitely like negative 40 right now. Come on. No way. I got him. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah. Yes, it's a nice one. Perfect eater. Not too big, not too small. I'm gonna say 12 inches. And I am only gonna catch like, I don't know if I'm gonna go too crazy. I don't know how many fish I really wanna clean. I already cleaned some this morning, but I think I'm gonna eat like three or four maybe, so. Yeah, I've been putting them in here too, by the way. Perfect little little cooler live well, or dead, dead well. Let's get baited back up. That one took probably half an hour. The bite's been really finicky. I've been marking fish, but it's so freaking cold. The fish just have like lock jaw. You pretty much gotta put it right in their face and toy with them for a while. You guys are probably wondering where the graph cam has been. I, I'm not, I don't have an extra camera for the graph cam. And also there's a bunch of zooplankton here. So like you can, I can, I can barely see myself on my graph. Like it's cluttered. I know you guys have been enjoying the graph cam, but uh, hopefully it'll be coming back next video. Ah! <laughs> I'm sending a Snapchat and I'm hooked up. Not feeling too crazy, but it's not, it's kind of feeling small. Not gonna lie. Tiny, okay. Perfect eater. I take back what I said. Perfect eater, probably 10 and a half, 11 inches. Harvest, one more. We're catching one more, that's it. One more, I'm starving. I'm gonna get cooking soon. Oh, about to get crushed. You won't, you won't, you ain't gonna do it. Day four in the fish house. Things are starting to get weird. Watch out, man! Oh. Oh, oh, big, big, it's not crazy, same size as probably that first one, like 12 inches, not bad. Hey, we get to eat food! Heck yeah, dudes, I'm about to clean these suckers up right now, I am starving, I haven't eaten since like 10 o'clock this morning, so uh, yeah, 
Let's, uh, I'm gonna get everything kind of ready and then we'll talk to you guys up on the counter. Woo! All right, dudes, we are going to be starting out with the littlest one first and y'all know, what the heck? GoPro just had a seizure. Y'all know how I usually roll. I'm not gonna go too in depth on cleaning these fish. Maybe one day I'll do like a video specifically dedicated to how to clean a fish. But I'm just gonna rip through these and uh, yeah. Cue the time lapse, you know? I'm usually pretty good at cleaning fish, but holy crap, I just crushed these three. All right, I just have to take the skin. Is this thing not focusing? It's kind of dark, but I just need to take the skin off of these. We'll be freaking getting the grease hot in no time. All right, these flays are all done. Time for the worst part of this. Uh. This is gonna suck. I'm doing it fast. Okay. Oh, I'm already freaking dead. And a rattle reel too, dudes. I didn't think I told you guys. Just always know I got a second line down every time. Just write that down. Oh, does Marie have a dead stick or rattle reel or tip up down? Yes, he does. God! I did two fillets, I'm dead. Ah! I turned the heat on, so the audio is gonna be sick. <laughs> Okay, this hand's gone. Let's do this hand. Uh, my hands are freaking beet red. Just a reminder, it's negative 40 outside, which means the water's probably pretty cold. I'm done. Look at my hands. Oh, you're starting to turn purple. Okay, we got the hard part of this video done. It's all smooth sailing from here. Kind of a sad day. We're not ripping the shore lunch today. Instead, we got some Chef Roberts. The stuff is pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Holy cat! Check, 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 check. These are all ready to go. Oh my god. Look at those. Wow. This is just about good. Oh yeah. We're good to go. We are, you know, Houston, we have lift off. First fillet going in. I'm gonna put them all in probably. Try to cook them all at once. Piggy man! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, let me call you back. I'm cooking fish. God, I love that dude. In case y'all are wondering, that's an everyday re occurrence. What just happened there? I'm thinking these suckers are done, dudes. Oh. Kind of a sad day, dudes. Unfortunately, we don't have any of that amazing, uh, what was it, Tostitos queso blanco sauce, but we do have some craft uh, tartar sauce, so it's not a total bust, but anyways. Yeah. I am going to absolutely plow this freaking fish. I'm so hungry and so excited. Let's get a little taste for you guys. Oh my god, look at that little tater chip. <laughs> I love crappies. I'm gonna absolutely plow this. And yeah, I'll talk to you when I'm done eating. Welcome back dudes. Before the next part of this video, I totally forgot to tell you guys this and I wish I filmed it last night. I went to bed at like 12 o'clock last night. I only slept for like two hours. I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning and I could see my breath and I was like, oh man. Last night too was like negative 50 also, by the way. I'm not making this up. Like it's, it's the coldest it's the coldest weather we've had yet in Minnesota. Anyways, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I could see my breath and I'm like, oh my god, like, this isn't good. Like, something's not right here. I wasn't, like, super scared because I do have, like, a really nice expensive sleeping bag. I think it's good up to, like, negative 30 or something crazy like that. But anyways, I knew something was wrong. I kind of got up a little bit. I went and checked the vents and the vents, the heat was blowing nothing but cold air. And I was like, what? the heck. And I've actually had that happen before, like last year in the old shack that we had. That shack got sold, by the way. I feel like I should mention that. A lot of you guys have been missing the Big Bite house. We freaking miss it too, but yeah. 
she gone. I came to the conclusion that pretty much all that could have happened was either the regulator was frozen or the propane tank, or you know, the propane was frozen. So I pretty much just had to wait it out from three o'clock in the morning till eight in the morning with no heat. Like it was, I'm not kidding. It was just kicking out cold, cold air. I pretty much just had to wait for it to warm up. So yeah, from like three to eight, eight thirty, I was, I could see my breath, it was probably like 20 degrees in here. It was pretty intense, definitely sucked. Story time is over, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, are y'all ready to see the absolute worst part about winter camping in a nice house like this? Feel my legs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. That was freaking horrible. That was terrible. It is so freaking cold out. Let's check the weather real quick and let's do a time check. It's freaking 12 o'clock. Like, I've been doing a crappy job of checking in with you guys. It's been like five hours. But the past like hour, I've been talking to Josh over FaceTime and I've just been dinking off on social media and whatnot but anyways the weather it is freaking negative 21 right now uh negative 40 wind chill yeah it's freaking cold out i think i'm about to uh call her a night i'm gonna hang out watch some shame and shut the lights off and whatnot and uh yeah i'll probably just pick you i don't know what we're gonna do the fish don't really bite in the morning but i'll probably still just talk to you guys in the morning peace Welcome back. Good morning, dudes. As you can see, I'm all bundled up. I just got inside from uh, filling the generator once again. And let me tell you, probably sucked even worse than last night because I woke up cold. But yeah, I'm about to uh, clean this fish house up and I think I'm going to get out of here. Really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Maybe a little bit slower one. Maybe not. You never know. I always say that and the episodes usually end up being being like halfway decent. Really quick, if you guys haven't seen the last video, uh, y'all should definitely go check it out. It'll probably be at the end screen of this video. I caught the freaking biggest bluegill I have ever seen in my entire life. Like the thing was scary. Frankenstein fish. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. New Fish and More merch. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, you should. It's pretty fire. We got some pretty cool stuff. We got this hoodie right here. It says Camp Murda. This one's like my favorite. It's got a little fish house here pretty cool but yeah if you guys could like this video share this video smash that subscribe button hit that bell next to that subscribe button that notifies you whenever i post a video and i guess all that's left to say dudes you guys start fishing more bye